Some time ago, Classic X-Files was criticized for being anti-science, perhaps most famously by Richard Dawkins. His argument, however, struck me as incomplete. To summarize his argument, imagine a procedural TV show that always had two suspects, one white, one black. It would be terribly insidious if, time after time, the black suspect turned out to be the killer. You can't defend that by saying, it's just fiction, it's all in good fun. The message of entertainment matters. In X-Files, what kind of a message does it send to the audience if the paranormal explanation is the right one virtually every time and science always loses? Dawkins was correct to be worried about the societal impact of promoting quackery. After all, a few decades later, we live in an era where people actually believe this, and much, much worse. However, he missed a terribly important point if you look a little deeper. The show is not what it seems. Quick recap of what the show wants you to believe. This guy is the faithful believer. This chick is the scientific skeptic. A curious thing happens when an episode has religious overtones instead of the usual monsters and aliens. When religion enters the picture, their character roles flip. Scully becomes the believer, while Mulder becomes the scientist. Or do they? In truth, Scully was always the believer and Mulder was always the scientist. After all, what is science? It's just a method of finding the truth. The core of science is that ideas are tested by experiment. Everything else is bookkeeping. This is what Mulder does every episode. He forms a hypothesis. This guy's a walking aphrodisiac. Psychokinetic manipulation. Ever hear of something called the Jersey Devil? And finds evidence supporting it. By doing so, he figures out how his universe works. What does Scully do? By contrast, in spite of ongoing, overwhelming evidence to the contrary, Scully refuses to abandon her unshakable faith in what she learned at a university, at a medical school, and what she believes as a religious person. Any scientifically minded person should figure out their way out of their depth five, maybe ten episodes into the first season, but Scully stubbornly holds onto her dogmatic faith for eons. The real problem of the show is not that science loses, because science and rationality win every single episode as represented by Mulder. After all, if you live in a universe that contains genies and alien hybrids, it is, in fact, the rational and scientific thing to believe in genies and alien hybrids. The real crime the show commits against science is that it gives the impression that Scully's dogmatic faith that flies in the face of all available evidence is consistently called science. It just isn't. What I suspect is going on here is that the writers weren't scientists or fans of science themselves. To them, science was wearing a lab coat, working in a laboratory or with a scalpel, having a university education and scoffing at tales of demons, witches and wizards. This is not what science is, that is just the costume and trappings of science. The difference between the two is like the difference between wearing scrubs and being a real healthcare worker. So this is what X-Files is really about. It's about a scientist who wears the clothes of a believer, and about a believer who wears the lab coat of a scientist. Except every single episode, X-Files portrays the grounded person who accepts the reality he lives in as some wild-eyed idealist, and the dogmatic believer who lives in denial of the reality that surrounds her as the scientist. And that is X-Files' real crime against science. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for your attention.